What's up everyone? Welcome back. So you've set up Nextcloud, you've encrypted all the data going in and out of it. You've told all your guildies, hey, keep your eyes open for an email from me telling you how to log into my Nextcloud server so that we can start strategizing for our plan of attack on the Burning Crusade. So all that's left is let's go ahead and add those users and send the invites out next on Low Res DIY. <laughs> All right, we've logged into Nextcloud, and first thing, let's just point out the thing, the options that you have with it. You've got your dashboard button right here, your files button that will bring up another screen that shows you all the files that you have connected with with your uh, login of Nextcloud. Photos, if you have any photos, there's the standard photos that they just throw on there when you install it. Your activities will show you everything that that you've done in the last couple days, weeks, whatever. Talk, this is where you'll communicate with your guild members or with anybody you want to uh, communicate with. You can set this up for, uh, let's say you got a college uh, group that you have a class project to work on. You can use something like Nextcloud to keep everybody in the loop and, and talk with them. Your mail, uh, you can take your outside mail server. Let's say you have a Gmail account or you have an Outlook account or something like that. You can put it in here and it will go out to those accounts, check them for you and put all the email here so you can find one spot to check it all out instead of having to log in to multiple different uh, email accounts. Your contacts is just what it says. If you want to add a contact for friends or work associates or something like that, you can put that in here. And your calendar in which you can do things like you can set up raid nights or stuff like that that everybody can see and they'll know all right hey tonight we've got a raid for next ramus or something like that or hey we need to meet at the uh, uh la our library tonight to work on our project and we need to be face to face for it so let's set a time up but what we're going to do is we're going to set users up for our guild first thing we'll do we'll go over here to the little l which is is your login and we're going to go to users and first I'm going to add a group and our, uh, let's see, what's our guild name? Let's say COVID Karens. How about that? Sounds like a good guild name, right? So we're in the COVID Karens right now and there are no users in it at all right now. I am going to go to low res. Let's edit this guy and we can add him to the COVID Karen. So now, low res or whatever your name may be it, you're set up as an administrator in that group and you're in the covid karen's group so let's go ahead and add a new user and username you can either put the person's real name in or you can give them a nickname or whatever but below that you have a display name which will be you you can add their nickname there if you want so let's just throw in a user Krog. Krog's our, our warrior, you know, super cool guy and everything. And let's just give him a password of Krog12345. If you have his email address, you can put that in there if you want. You can set him in as set them as an administrator if you want. I'm not gonna do that. He's just a guild member. He's not one of the guild leaders or anything. So we're just gonna throw him in. And bam, there's Krog. He is now one of the users in the COVID Karen's uh, user group. And let's just, uh, let's go ahead and add one more user to it. Let's add, uh, let's say Rexar. And give Rexar the same password. Rexar12345. And hit a little check mark there to add them. And you can go ahead and add as many people to this as you want. Now, when you have their username, that is going to be the name that they use to log in to your next cloud server, not the display name. It's the username. So, all right, we've got a couple people in here, so I can go over to talk and let's uh, search conversation. And I'm going to go check out the COVID Karens, which is right there. Uh, allow guests to join open conversation registry. I'm just going to add participants, which would be my guild members. If this was your, your, your leadership group, you could just have the leaders in there. Or if it's a general guild group, you can have everyone that's in the guild. It doesn't matter if it's one to 255. 
whatever it is. Hit create conversation. All right, we've started a conversation. And you can go down here and just click on this and say, hey, what's up, y'all? You hit enter and it will throw it out there. So now let's switch over to my laptop and I'm going to log in as, let's say I'll log in as Krog. And put his password in. All right, Krog's logged in now. This is his first time logging in, so it'll bring the slideshow up for that user so they can go ahead and look and see what's available to them with Nextcloud. And look at that on the little bell there. It says, Lowra has invited you to a group conversation uh, of the COVID Karen. So let's go ahead and view the chat. So it brings it up, shows you all the users that are in this group up here at the top, and it shows that Lowra says, what's up, y'all? Not much, brah. Hit enter. So let's go ahead and switch back to our desktop. And there you go. You can see it. Krog just talked back to me. So you can get a conversation going that way, just through text and things like that. But let's say you want to have a face-to-face -face talk. You can do that. I'm not sure if this is going to work because I haven't really set the camera up on this uh, system yet. Well, let's go ahead and start a call. We'll say allow. Yeah, see, there you go. Air while accessing camera is likely in use by another program, which it is. It's in use by OBS. But over here on the laptop, you can see down here at the bottom, low res started a call. So let's just click on the join and see what happens here. And we'll click on the allow. So, wow, that's a Whoa, that was something. That's a horrible camera right there. A lot of echo just happened there. But you can see that it works. Uh, if my desktop camera was set up right now, the picture would be right here. You would see me through that. Uh, my goodness, that is a horrible camera. Huh. Well, this laptop's like, I don't know, 132 years old. but Right now, I would be talking back and forth. And that's where the echo came from is because the voice from the laptop came through the speakers on my desktop. So sorry about that feedback. I'll probably cut it out, so hopefully you won't even notice it. Uh, let's switch back over to the desktop. So, all right, we're back on desktop now. And you can see that uh, I, I'm, my laptop camera is coming through with it. So if you want to leave the call, just hit leave call. That stops the call. Of course, Krog will have to do the same thing. So Krog stopped the call. And that's just another way you can communicate through this program. And it's all going through your server in your house. It's not going through Google or Outlook or any other thing like that. One other really cool thing about this chat is, let's say you're, you're going over your strategies and you want to throw a map up or something like that you can take and drag and drop files into this you can drag and drop it click the send and it will send it to everyone in the group so let's go ahead and we'll just switch over to the laptop again and you can see that Krog got a copy of the map right there so you can do that with uh, pictures, word files, whatever you want to share with the group or with whoever you're having the uh, conversation with. All right, now that you know how to get those users in there and start your groups, go ahead, get get to it pretty quick because the uh, Burning Crusade, I think it's only a couple weeks away, so you really need to get your strategies ironed out and be ready for it when it hits. Um, another thing that this can do, the, this next cloud has an app that in the next video i'm going to go ahead and uh, run through how to set the app up and which will also help with synchronizing files from your laptop to the server things like that so if that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button maybe hit that bell if you want to be notified whenever i upload a uh, new video so until next time thanks for watching